When I started earning money over 8 years ago, I decided that I should start keeping track of my finances. After trying some apps for my phone, I quickly settled on a handmade Excel sheet. After a few years, it turned into an unwieldy monstrosity. And so I went on a journey to replace it with a custom coded solution. Three years later, I released version 1.0 of Ducatia, my personal finance manager. But what is Ducatia really? At the moment, there are two parts to it. First, there's a web app that lets you interact with your data. Add transactions, check your budgets, look at charts, that sort of thing. And then there is the backend, which is responsible for keeping all that data in order. As a personal finance manager, there are quite a few tools for keeping track of things. The most important one is definitely the transaction log. Here you create a new record each time you either spend or earn some money. Each of these records gets enriched by quite a bit of metadata, like a timestamp, tax, the amount of money involved, and a custom note. Then there are also recipients and accounts that help you to further categorize everything. Budgets then hook into transactions. They allow you to set goals to limit your spending within certain tags. One cool little feature is rollover. This allows you to carry over unused budget into the next period. If you need to save for a bigger purchase, this comes in handy. The last major part is asset management. Here you can keep track of things like stocks you bought or physical things like your car. You can tag transactions with an asset too, so you can get an automatic total cost of ownership calculation going. Of course, all these features profit from multi-currency support. By default, there are just euros and US dollars, but you can create as many custom currencies as you like, even crypto, if you're into that. If I haven't already mentioned it, Ducatia is also fully open source and self-hosted. This means that all your sensitive financial information never leaves your house if you don't want it to. Full control over this kind of data is essential in my opinion. I think that was enough for you to get an overview about what Ducatia is capable of. If you still want to learn more, I encourage you to take a look at the Ducatia website, which you can find in the video description down below. The why might be even more interesting to talk about, so let's get right into that. I built my own Excel sheet over 8 years ago. At first it was fine and dandy, but then I opened another bank account, then a PayPal account, and finally even started investing. All these changes to my financial doings made my Excel sheet more and more complicated. Sure, I could have rebuilt it from scratch, but I was also looking for a new project that I could use to get better at programming. And so I decided to give this challenge a try. I also thought that I could make a YouTube series about building this thing. This was supposed to be at least partially a learning exercise, so what did I learn? Well, the first thing might sound a bit cliche. That is my growing dislike of JavaScript front-end frameworks. I settled on using Nux.js because I already knew it from previous projects. I also tried React before and Nux just made more sense to me. Still, there are a lot of little magic things you are just supposed to know. One of my big struggles was always integrating third-party dependencies like Chart.js that I use for all the charts. Now you don't just have to learn the library you wanna use, but also the next wrapper. Especially as a novice web developer, this becomes confusing really quickly. And then there was the upgrade from Next version 2 to 3. They changed quite a few internals, which made upgrading a very unfun experience for me personally. Another big learning for me was planning of features. I like to just jump in and get a first implementation going, oftentimes overlooking crucial things that needed a lot of work to retroactively build in. In the future, I want to at least do some more planning beforehand to hopefully save a bit on programming time. We will see how this one goes though, I won't guarantee anything. The last one I want to touch on is the whole making videos about it part. In the beginning, when there was still a lot of visual progress, it worked out relatively well. As my focus shifted more on fixing all the little things and doing more work behind the scenes, I had to stop making videos about my progress because it was basically impossible to visualize what I was doing in an interesting and engaging way. Recording little bits of video as I was progressing through implementing a new feature also often took me out of my focus state, which wasn't helpful for my productivity at all. And this already brings us to the last part of this video, the future of Ducatia. I of course actively use Ducatia myself, and so I often have new ideas for features to add. Before I want to get started on building new features however, I want to embark on a journey to banish JavaScript frameworks from Ducatia. To do this, I'm planning on jumping onto the HTMX bandwagon. HTMX is a small JavaScript library that extends HTML with a few helpful attributes. For example, this allows you to populate a table with fresh data from the server on a button click, without having to write any JavaScript at all. 
It works on a principle of sending HTML over the network directly instead of using JSON as an intermediary step. I haven't used it yet, but I'm already excited to give it a try. On the back end, I then need the ability to generate HTML. For this, I want to build my own custom HTML rendering functionality. My goal there is to fully understand and control the entire stack from data coming out of the database all the way to the HTML that gets displayed by your browser. Once I have all that completed, I plan on adding more functionality outside of just managing my finances. Maybe something like keeping track of all the food in my fridge, which can then generate me a shopping list automatically. And then there could be a place to store recipes for cooking that can then be filtered by what I currently have available. There could also be a meal planning feature that then also adds missing ingredients to to my shopping list. These are just some ideas though, so no guarantees that I will ever see the light of day. Then lastly, I also want to get into iOS app development to create a native app for my phone. I can already think of some useful widgets or Apple Watch integrations. Again, this will probably take at least a year before I have a first prototype installed on my phone. And there you have it, Ducatia 1.0. It's been a fun journey so far, but I feel like I'm just getting started. At the moment, I'm still busy with some other projects and videos, so it might take a few months until I get restarted on development. So get subscribed if you don't wanna miss those, or if you're anxiously awaiting the next Ducatia update video. See you soon.